All right, Bart here with Cycling Strong. We've got a little series going on, so if you haven't checked them all out, do that first. We're gonna jump right into it. I'm here with Dave. So Dave, I watch some riders and when they're riding down the road and I see their heads bobbing, I see shoulders going, I see all sorts of things like that. How important is it to keep your body still and let your legs do the work while you're riding in these events? That's the key factor. The legs have got to do the work. Okay. And movement outside of the legs is likely going to be taken away from power to the pedals and to the road. Uh, if your shoulders are moving around, mm -hmm. if your head's bobbing up and down, yep. you, you don't have a grounded center, your core is not engaged, mm -hmm. and you're going to be oozing out power uh, just from movement in the upper body, right. as well as fatiguing muscles um, that don't contribute to power production. Right. So the key likely with that is people either do not have a strong enough core right. or they're not engaging it. Good. Uh, and so when, when we talk about core strength, mm -hmm. it's not just like doing ab crunches. Right. It's making sure that the, the abdominals are strong, that the back muscles are strong, and that we're engaging our best posture possible. Right. And a lot of things that happen when you engage the core is you start to get preload out of the glutes, mm -hmm. preloaded torque in the glutes, and which actually helps you extend your leg more efficiently mm -hmm. with more force. Very cool. And the side benefit is you no longer have a ton of upper body weight on right. your hands. Right. And so your hands become a tool of uh, steering fluidity and they're out there to shift, brake, and steer lightly. Uh, and, and then you're getting a much more efficient uh, push down on the pedals. Your upper body muscles are going to relax and take it a little bit easier. Of mm -hmm. course, they're going to be doing some work to help sure. stabilize, yeah. but they're not the primary stabilizers. Gotcha, okay. Does it also, just the last little question is, does it also burn extra energy that you should be saving? Oh, it would definitely burn extra energy because when those muscles engage and are trying to move around, yep. they're using up energy that could be going to the legs or a core stabilization that helps us push harder. Very good. So I think that answers everything you need to do there. So if you're not doing any core workouts, you probably ought to put those into your plan. And when your coach sends them, you probably ought to do them a thought <laughs> but uh, have fun with it do some core exercises make sure that you're you know you're not all over the place on the bike you're really getting your energy to the legs and if you have any questions make sure you ask them below and stay tuned for the rest of the stuff talk soon